Okay, so I showed you how to import images into Over that you've purchased. Maybe you purchased an illustration pack or a vector pack or whatever images you've purchased. And you want to bring them in as a zip file and access them through Over through something like iCloud, Dropbox, uh, or Drive through Google. Now, I also want to show you how to do that with a Dropbox link because depending what you pur purchase, you may get a zip file, you may get a Dropbox link. Might be a little different, so I'm going to show you how to do each and every one. So here we are in the Over app. We're going to exit here. We're going to go to Safari. And I've got a Dropbox link that I've put in here. So if you've received a Dropbox link from somebody, you're going to be able to open it on your mobile phone. I'm going to show you how to do that through this video. Or, of course, you can download it to your desktop or your PC or your, your laptop and then just send it to, uh, to Dropbox that way and then access it later on your phone through over. But this video is going to show you how to do it all from mobile. So we're going to have that link. And I'm going to show you, like clicking on the link, I'm going to uh, enter it here in Safari. And it's going to open it up here in Dropbox. Now it's giving me a few options. I can open in the app up here at the, at the top. That Dropbox uh, icon is saying "Download to Dropbox." Um, of course, I have the app here on my phone, so I'm just going to go straight to "Open in Dropbox." So it's going to go over to Dropbox where I'm already logged in, uh, and you see it's got all of the folders. So this is the organization tree that is within the zip file. Okay, so you want to make sure that you keep this uh, so that you can you stay organized and you can find what you want when you want to find it. So it's a, it doesn't make a lot of sense right here what you're supposed to do, but these three little dots up here in the top right corner, that's what we're going to press. And we're going to say save to my Dropbox. Okay. So this is the folder. It's the, big, it's the freaking big illustration pack that I purchased. And it's giving me different locations that I can save it to. So I want to save it to a different folder. And you can see the ones that I've put in here before, like I showed you before, putting the AA so that it comes up at the top if you have a whole bunch of folders. So we're gonna do a new one. Okay, so we're gonna have a folder name, AA, and let's give it underscore, uh, let's just call it the big uh, pack. Get back. Here we go. Big pack, create. And of course it's gonna create it. Uh, normally it puts it down at the bottom, but now it's already opening it here for me. And we're down here, we're just going to say choose. Okay, so we're going to choose this folder and save. Okay, so it's going to take a minute. It's going to save all of these images uh, from Dropbox. It's going to put them all in uh, that folder. Okay, so now here we're still in Safari. We're still in, like, where are we? Let's just exit this. Let's go back to over and let's find it. Okay, so we're going to add an image. Remember the little trick? You have to slide down from here so you can access more Going to show us iCloud first. We're going to change that location. We're going to go over to Dropbox. And you see here now it has AA Big Pack right here at the top. It's got this main folder, the big illustration pack. And I really recommend doing this because Dropbox is not a drag and drop with keeping the folders in the trees. You really need to unzip into uh, Dropbox this way. Now they're giving us everything. Okay, so this pack had all kinds of assets for using Photoshop and Illustrator. I really just want the PNGs. So it gives me animals and badges and buildings and holidays and all this stuff. So let's go to, uh, to ornaments. Let's see what's in ornaments. And you see it starts to load here. It gives me some, uh, some decorations that I can use. And so I mean, let's just use this one here, number 12. It's going to download it, import it right into over. So I can use this maybe as a little uh, you know, art uh, you know, asset right here. And of course you can change uh, uh, the colors through here. Let's go over to, uh, you can change the shadow, you can change the size, and everything. There's a lot that you can do uh, through here. You can change the tint. This is where you can change the color, the overall color of it. And uh, yeah, it's just that easy. So it's a little different from the uh, zip file download where you open it with uh, WinZip and then send that to. Uh, to Dropbox. This one was from a Dropbox link. Uh, so watch this video again. Watch it slow. If you're kind of unsure on the steps, I know I went through a lot of steps and not all of those steps might have been you know, very intuitive. Uh, so watch the video again. Watch it slow. If you get stuck, uh, please reach out. We'll be happy to uh, answer any questions. Uh, but it's really easy. The first time you do it, you're going to be like, what? This is, this is kind of slowing me down. It's always going to be the hardest the first time. After you get it done the first time, you're going to say, oh, that was easy. I understand how to do that. So the next time you purchase fonts and the next time you purchase illustrations or artwork, it'll be a lot easier for you to, uh, to send it in. So that's how it works. 
Uh, hope this video makes sense and uh, helps you make some great designs.